Hey, my friends, what's going on? It's your boy Kato. Let's get it. Let's go. So today, guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about Shopify, what you should learn now, right? It's going crazy. It's about to be fourth quarter, so a lot of people usually take that time to go crush it. So here's what I want you to do, right? If you're on my page, you love the video I drop, I want you to click down below. There's going to be a subscribe button. If you love video about making money online, business, that's what I do all day, every day. So click down below, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it, and we're going to jump into the content now if you don't start your shop yet I think this is now is definitely a good time for you to learn this stuff before four quarter get here and I'm talking about September October November December those four months usually are the hot month when it comes to e-com if you enjoyed this video but haven't subscribed press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update okay, so All right, so let's jump into the content, guys. So here's the deal. The reason why you should learn how to do e-commerce right now, specifically Shopify, is gonna enable you to have a store of your own that you can actually utilize the internet to create income from, okay? Now, think of it as the pop and shop, right? The pop and shop, those are the shops that usually come sometimes of the year, you know, like if you, have a, if you have a farm, like you know the farmer's market, they have those watermelon, people just come and they buy stuff. They only come once a year and they have what I call, you know, limited supply. So they don't have a bunch of watermelons. They only come once a year. So people expect that they go when that, um, when that shop comes up. So from information that was given last year from the data, the pop and shop industry where people actually just create a store, they made over $10 billion last year. So that means that there's a lot of income you're leaving on the table that you can actually make this stuff happen. So why this is now is the best time, you can get yourself ready. So if you go to a training or if you learn this stuff right now, you don't technically have to get my training. I have one, I'll post it down below, it's really up to you. But just learn how to do this stuff. Right? Go to Shopify, learn how to do this stuff so that when four quarter comes that you will be ready, okay? So think about it. What are the holidays that are coming up? If you can think. So let's think about the holiday, right? You have Labor Day that's coming up, right? Labor Day. We'll talk about what you can actually sell during those time. You have Halloween. It's another crazy one. Then you have Veterans Day. That's coming up. It's another crazy one. You have Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving, what comes? You know, after we eat, we have a good time. People go to the movies. And where do they go? Black Friday. You have Black Friday. Friday right after Thanksgiving and then you have Cyber Monday that's coming up and then you have Christmas and then you have New Year's so people will be spending money during those time what you want to do is to get yourself ready you want to set yourself ready so you know how do you capitalize one thing I usually say to my student is you need to learn how to get yourself on the other side of the transaction. That's the secret to be rich, right? If you want to create, if you want to have the lifestyle of freedom, you want to create amazing income, do whatever you want, you need to be able to set yourself on the other end of the transaction. You can't be the one that's always buying, buying, buying. You go to the store, you're buying gifts. You know, this holiday is coming up. The fourth quarter is coming up. How about you learn how to set up your own shop that people will be buying from you? Now, this is the time to emphasize on learning and growing your skill set. By then, you have the skill set to get a shop going. People are buying for Christmas. They're buying for Labor Day. They're buying for Halloween. They're buying for Veterans Day, Black Friday. Guess who they're buying from? You, you, so now you're gonna be on the other end of the transaction. You're not gonna be the one that's pulling out of your pocket. Here's my money, here's my money. But now, you're gonna get a cut of that. So even if you do drop shipping, even if your store's making 30 to 40% in profit, imagine if you sell about 100K, you ended up making 20 to 30K or to 40K during those three months. It's an extra 20 to 30K, that's $10,000 more every month in your pocket that you can actually do for yourself. So let's think about it. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to have in mind, okay? When you're starting an online store, now all those other stores, the local stores, 
they are shutting down because most people are buying online. Now, my generation, they know they have this, right? They have ads running in front of them all day. They have what's called options. And people, they buy, they pay for options. When they know they can find something in a different color, in a different size, instantly, without having to say, oh, the store don't have it. You have to wait a couple of weeks. You have to wait next time to get it. Now, everything is done on the internet. Like my kids, that generation, they never probably gonna go to the mall. The only reason they probably gonna go to the mall, maybe to watch a movie, even if, even so, if they want to, right? Maybe it's just to hang. But when it comes to buying and purchasing what they want, the ending will give them the freedom, right? It's all a buyer's experience. Now, when a buyer can have better choices, more choices, things that they didn't even think of. If you find a great product, you put it in front of someone as a gift, and they see it, it's like, oh my God, that is the perfect gift. That's what I was looking for. So what you want to keep in mind, it's going to cost you way less to start an online store than it would cost you to start a regular store, a regular pop and shop by your house. If you, you have to pay for the place that you was going to get it, you have to pay for the table. If you're going to even do a lemonade stand, you have to pay for the table. You have to pay for the use stand. So you got to pay for everything. But with the online stuff, guys, even if you're doing, um, even if you just getting started, you don't need, you know, you don't need thousands, you know, 20,000, 30,000 hours to put a whole shop together. It's gonna cost you less. Now, you can have that budget if you wanna make a lot more money. We'll talk about that. So it's gonna cost you 80% less than starting a real business. Think about people that's gonna need gifts right now. Be on the other side of the transaction. Here's another thing I want you to keep in mind, okay? If you're gonna do the strategy, right? Four quarters coming up and you trying to be profitable creating a store, you need to set up a budget. Here's what happened to a lot of people. They go through a course or they get started with e right? They don't have a budget. They come, okay, I'm just gonna get a, a, a Shopify, a eBay account, whatever. You know, I'm gonna start a business, but there's no budget. So therefore, if they're gonna run ads, Specifically, when you're talking about the last quarter, you're thinking about big industry going after the customers. Like that's spending thousands and millions of dollars, but doesn't mean that you cannot get some of the traffic. Even if you're getting what I call crumbs traffic, you can still crush it. Here's the deal, you need to have a budget. What do I recommend? People that's working with me, I usually recommend them to have 5K to 10K in budget. So you need to set yourself aside five, I say you gotta have some budget, man. If you're gonna run traffic, five, 10, 20, 15, 20K, whatever much that you can have, the more you can have, you learn the skill set, the more better it's gonna be for you because if you have something that's winning, people love it, you can scale it. Because remember, right now you, your time is limited. When you're working for something specifically of a holiday, there's a time crunch right there. It's not that, you know, that time of the year when people are in the frenzy, like people go in debt so they can go buy gifts. But if you are on the other end of the transaction, you're not gonna be the one that's going in debt to buy gifts. You're gonna be the one they're gonna bring their hard earning income or the, the, the credit card. They're gonna swipe to get your product, right? To get what you have to offer and you get to get a cut of that. So you on the other end of the transaction. So you gotta think of it that way. So now, what can you sell? Here's the big question. You okay, it okay, it's the holiday. So so what can I sell? So I'm gonna jump into the computer, I'll show you some of the stuff that you can sell. Now you're talking about Labor Day. Labor Day, you can sell clothes, you know, that Labor Day is a holiday in the US. So if, you, if you're not in the US, that's probably not pertaining to you. But in the US, there's so many cool stuff. There's like socks you can sell for Labor Day. The flag, the American flag you can sell for Labor Day. There's so many different cool stuff that you can actually sell for Labor Day. Halloween, now when it comes to Halloween, masks, you know, masks people are wearing, costumes. That's another thing that you can sell for, for Halloween, you know. Things that you know people are gonna be using during that moment, right? Patriots, you can sell those pins that you can put on the shirts. Um, another thing, if you're thinking about people that's in the army, one thing that's precious to them is the dog tag, right? The tag that they wear. You can have actually a little dog tag made up with their name, you know, specifically made up and then boom, they can actually get that. Or some people lost theirs or some people might want to get more for their grandkids or they've been in the army for a long time. People buy these things. Those are some of the stuff that you can actually sell, you know, during the Patriots Day, during the Labor Day. You know, what about Black Friday? You know, Black Friday, what you really want to concentrate on is discount. Become a discount freak on Black Friday. And it doesn't even matter if it's not a big discount, as long as you're profitable, right? As long as you keep it profitable where you can actually get a little bit lesser so that your customer can be more happy. But people are expecting on Black Friday, they're gonna get discounts. So 
all up your store, man, like discount for 50% off, 20% off today, even if you ended up getting lesser when it comes to a profit, but you still keep yourself in a profit mode and then give them a discount. Another thing you could do, give them special, special prices. You can bundle things up, like bundle it up. Like if you buy this one, buy this one, you get this one for free. That's another way you can actually increase your sale. Give discount, bundles, you know, holidays theme. What you could do is choose an holiday theme for your, for your store. Like, you know, it's Christmas, you know, people was in the Christmas, the green spirit, it's looking nice and that's when you get them get them to spend because people are in a buying frenzy and when in that moment don't get yourself too caught up into yo you buying gifts you buy you in the frenzy but you want to be at the same time earning not just spending so I know the holiday is gonna come up I know it's kind of far right now but I'm kind of warning you early four quarters coming up people are excited Yo, I have shops that I just set them up just for that time. So you can have a shop where you can just set it up just for that time and then turn it back on, boom. When the holiday comes, so you can make a killing, okay? Other things that you can sell, um, New Year's. What do you think people will buy in New Year's? What happened in New Year's? Come on, leave a comment down below, let me know. New Year's, resolution. Weight loss is so powerful during New Year's. Everybody want to be slimmer. Everybody want to have a six pack. Everybody just want to have, you know, the work, new workout clothes, new shoes, new sneakers, because they feel like, oh man, if I have new things, I'm going to go to the gym, which most people ended up breaking the commitment after four or five days. But if you're on the other side of the transaction, that spending they're gonna be making, buying different gear, buying different shoes, buying different pants, different shirts. If you offer this stuff during the New Year's as people are making resolution for their life, for their health, guess who's gonna benefit from it? Not just them if they keep going with their resolution, right? They're gonna benefit from it, but you on the other end, if you offer these things during the New Year, you can actually crush it and take it to a whole next level. So. That's why I think you should learn Shopify right now. I think you should learn e-commerce. You should learn how to take yourself, your goal, your game to the next level. But anyway, guys, I wanted to make this video for you. That was Cater. If you appreciate it, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Do you have a shop? Are you looking to put a shop together during the holiday? I will put in the description down below um, a program you can actually get that walk you step by step on how to create a store and get stuff going, Facebook ads and all that stuff. I wanted to bring that to your attention in the link in the description below. I put a tool that I've been using that gives you products, thousands, hundreds of products that you can actually test with the ad it also gives you the video it gives you t-shirts it gives you everything that you need to make the process a lot easier and a lot faster so definitely check it out for test let's go but anyway that was cater your boy for more videos like this one I want you to click over here where you can actually get all the videos I make in a playlist about Shopify and e-commerce you can click down here on my face where you can actually subscribe to my channel and you can click over here to see my last video all right I'll see you on the next one let's go